love you guys. Your boy Sago. And right now I'm headed to work. Uh, yeah. Where y'all guys been? I know it's been like two months <laughs> since I've uploaded again. Uh, no, really and truly, I haven't been um, doing too much lately. Like recently, I have. I did a couple videos, so I'm gonna put those in here. And uh, yeah, so really, it just work, and you know that's it. Um, and fishing too. Uh, we'll probably be getting some more fishing videos on uh, Jose's channel for y'all. So yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. First, let me see. I know y'all know about the nitrous, me going nitrous, and what else? Uh, the cage, the half cage. Uh, so I was like, uh, what this was? Well, like last month. So apparently. The guy that I found that can do my cage, like put it in for me, he can weld it in. And uh, he's like into the drift events and stuff, and he has an R32. And he, you know, showed us his R32, and I was like, hmm. And when he first saw me, he was like, I remember you. He's like, I remember you from a little uh, meet. I'm like, oh. And I was like, I kind of, I, like, hmm. I thought about it, I was like, you look familiar. And he's like, yeah, I had that uh, white stupid disease. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I remember now. And because me and Jose had went to a little a meet, it was like on a Sunday, a little small church meet, and they always have like cars there, like clean cars, classic, uh, classic cars. So yeah, uh, he um talked a little bit and you know trying to go around and show me like what they look for, like if I were to go into. Event, like you know, a drift event or any type of event where it can be certified and you know, and it's safe. So, he was telling me like how certain uh, areas you have to weld to in the car in order for it to like flow right and it won't like you know be all smashed up and you know, whenever you get to an accident or anything. So, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So, there's certain points in the car I know they tell people like you have to weld, weld that. So, I'm like, oh, I said, okay. Then he basically told me like he fabbed up like piping and you know, well not necessarily fab up piping, but like fab up like cages. And he also do exhausts as well. So I was like, dang. I said, well, he said, you know, it's my choice if I want to get one. Like if I just wanted a harness bar. If I want, just wanted a harness bar, he can see how much the material is, and he had charged me, you know, how much he ever wanted to charge. Which one gonna be much? Or I keep that cage and just go on through with it. So, really and truly, I ain't gonna lie, you guys. I was kind of like, mm, dang, I'm at a standstill now since I didn't know you can do all that. Like, you know, just wrap up, you know, the harness bar for me, a custom harness bar. And I was like, if that was a cage, then I shouldn't even bought this cage because the cage was like eight hundred something dollars in total. And I told them I was trying to return it, but they canceled it and they just shipped it on out, so they didn't finish welding it or anything. So I was like, oh man. So I, I had to, you know, I basically had to deal with it. So um, yeah. Uh, long story short, basically I decided I said I'm just going ahead and use the cage because. It's gonna be for one hard to sell and two I already didn't primed it down and everything because the cage was just like a like a uh, regular uh, steel color so I primed it down and started painting on it so I'm gonna show y'all that clip now <laughs> that's how the cage look It's supposed to be a red. I got a lot more coats to do, but I tried to spray it just now, but I had an old can, so I gotta go get some more paint. So probably gonna do it on this video. These people are crazy. They just riding right here on the bike, flipping people off. Literally about to walk, like ride over here to the car. Oh, 
Oh uh, yeah, this is my mom's car. <laughs> Those are all that's wonders. It's not mine. Mine says the house is sitting up, looking ugly, with uh, uh, no hood and no wings. And, whew, dang, it's shining bright. And uh, no um, T-top, I just have my regular T-top on there. The other car probably with T-top still on there. So, yeah. But, uh, as far as that goes, um, I, oh, when I was, oh, but anyways, back to the nitrous part. So, anywho, long story short, I'm not gonna put the nitrous on just yet until I get everything that I want on the car first. Like, you know, fuel pump, injectors, uh, coil packs, and yeah. That's basically it. So, oh, I went back too far. So, uh, yeah, so. I think I have a video. What else I was doing? Oh, I took the carbon fiber parts off the car, so I'll show you a clip of that. Yeah. We're gonna convert this into a 300. Y'all keep playing now. Nah. Hold on, let me get the hood right quick. <laughs> Y'all see what it is now. Nah. Y'all quit playing now. Nah. This thing ain't fat in here. Hey, looking at the bird, y'all ain't gonna be able to see it. Ooh, excuse me. But, uh, yeah, we got the T top on now. Yes, sir. Got the hood on that thing, boy. It's definitely gonna eat up some people up there in Mexico now. Y'all keep playing with it. Come on with it. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready, boy. Whole three cylinder in that car. We ain't, we ain't done yet. Hold on. I'm gonna put the sheets in there next now. Y'all keep playing. So, originally I was supposed to took the parts of that last, this past Sunday, but it didn't go as planned. So, now this weekend, I'm gonna have to find a way to get it up there because I need, you know, like a truck or something that can really, um, you know, take, that can haul the parts. So, yeah. But as far as everything goes, everything's been fine. Like, everything's been going still pretty good. But we still have to, I don't know. I let Jose update y'all on that about his car. His car has been down for, what, going on three months now? Yeah, so he'll let, I'll let him explain that on his channel. So, anywho, um, yeah. Uh, really and truly, you guys. Oh, um, I also have a little site. Um, and I don't know if you can call it a site or what, but anyways, it's like a little, um, support channel, I guess you could say, support channel or supporting page. Basically, it's called Buy Me a Coffee. It's an app. Uh, where people basically, if they, you know, support your channel or, you know, your YouTube or something. You can share it to like anybody like on the social media any social media sites and they can pay you like five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars or twenty dollars it depends on how much the owner of that page you know puts on there so and once you you know do it like like you know it sends you like a a link back saying thank you well, i think it's from personally from the you know the owner of that page so yeah 
I guess I'll talk to y'all during lunch. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see y'all during lunchtime. So right now I'm just, you know, get ready to go into work. So I see y'all. All right, you guys, what's up? I'm on lunch break. Um, <clears throat> so what I was gonna tell y'all, um, this year, um, I'm trying my best to like do. I'm my bad. I'm trying my best to uh get like sponsorships and you know go to more meets like legit meets not no small meets and um yeah so by starting off like to get to that point i've already tried to get sponsored by braum but apparently there was like nah um they really <laughs> they really ain't gonna accept it because uh i can't i forgot i believe it was something dealing with like i don't know like getting it's something else something in the email i have to go back and read the email but i didn't get approved but basically they're saying i would have to wide body my car uh what else it's quite a few things um basically just you know have a unique build so yeah so starting off the main thing i need to do is engine bay needs to be clean <clears throat> which uh i'll show you a clip of that of me washing the z uh <clears throat> the engine bay looked it real good like it whew. i was like dang for an old car like this and been driven around it really isn't that bad so yeah um i really wasn't like tripping about anything so uh <sighs> anyway.
in the rain. But uh, anyways, you guys, uh, yeah, so basically I just was like, hmm, well, I guess I do have to do my car a little bit more and make it stand out. So that with that being said, I have to do control arms, lower control arms, uh, probably do sway bars. Like, I really do have to do a lot of stuff to that car in order for it to be like show core status because one of my shocks is already going out, so... It's time for coilovers on that car. Still haven't ordered coilovers on that car. Just slacking. And I need new bushings. Bad. Uh, and what else? And that's really about it. Um, and other than that, I mean, the car can stand out way more. Um, I need to get the dent out still. I need to get some more fenders, paint job. Um, as far as paint job goes, I might just go back black, but at the same time, before I even do that, I'm get some aftermarket fenders and aftermarket front bumper. Uh, probably just do front fenders aftermarket. I really want to get that, like, custom carbon fiber. Like, no lie, I, I haven't seen a 300 with a custom carbon fiber front fender, so I'm kind of debating on that. Since I have the hood carbon fiber, the T-tops carbon fiber, and the wing carbon fiber, I really was going to do the hatch carbon fiber, but I don't know. I have to see. Uh, but other than that, I really was like debating on, you know, what else I want to do carbon fiber. I know the nose panel can be carbon fiber, but mm, I'm going to just keep the one Jose got me for my birthday. So that one I'm really satisfied with. And yeah. Uh, as far as everything else, motor-wise, I'll be all right with it. I ain't too much worried about it because if the motor, if the motor decides to give out on me when I do the nitrous, of course I'm always have something backed up. You know, like another plan for it. So <laughs> I'm not really too worried about that. So yeah. Um. So yeah, but basically. That's really about it. Uh, yeah, like I said, and Jose, he had to tell you about his car, what happened with his. So, yeah. But um, I guess I'll keep y'all updated uh, in the next clip, I guess. Like I said, I'm going to try my best to get y'all updated. I know for sure, I'm for sure, for sure, going to vlog with the Cars and Coffee Biloxi. Uh, I'm trying to get my car ready before then. That way it can be like kind of show car ready. Like, you know, <clears throat> I really like, <laughs> I really want to, you know, kind of have my car like a little ready. But um, yeah, if there's not anything else, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. And uh, if you didn't, please comment down below what I should work on and uh, Oh, and don't forget, if you guys want to, you know, support me or, you know, check the channel out, check the little page out, the supporting page out, y'all go check that out and link, uh, the link will be in the description box below. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.